welcome to the uh, Industry of Things World 2015 in Berlin here. It's my pleasure to uh, be here with uh, Moshe Rappaport from IBM Research. Now, hi Moshe, thanks for coming down here. My pleasure. Um, could you please introduce us to the projects you're currently working on at IBM Research? So IBM Research has been a long time in Zurich where I work um, for many years, like 70 years, and we are working on, at the moment, on security, we're working on manageability, we're working on new kinds of algorithms, how do you deal with large amounts of data, how do you extract value out of data, and we have also a lot of work on very small devices, sensors and things like that, so we're very much covering the whole broad spectrum of a lot of technologies which are needed in order to make the Internet of Things and the Industry of Things happen. What would you say is characteristic of the Industrial Internet of Things? It's trying to get more value out of how industries do things. And industries, I'm taking it in a very broad sense. It's not only um, companies that manufacture things, but it could also be pharma, it can be health, it can be even education, agriculture, uh, retail. If you take all kinds of industries, we see a lot of potential. If we have good data which tells us what's going on out there in near real time and we can use that data in conjunction with many other forms of data, you get a very rich picture of how things are happening, what needs to be done, next best action we call that. And with good analytics, you can then really do very fascinating things. Where do you see the uh, IoT and its technologies creating the most um, impact? I'll tell you, in my job, I get to meet people from almost every industry imaginable. I can see it just across the board. Even education, I, you know, mm -hmm. health is a strong area, but of course, the way we build things it, it's too rigid, and that's the whole idea behind Industry 4.0 is to make things more agile, more mm. changeable, more reacting to how the world is changing. So it's all industries and in this particular case, of course, there is a need in this part of the world to reinvent how industry works mm. and to get these efficiencies and these quality. Let's not forget the quality. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can we get a little forecast? Um, what do you see the IoT market evolving in the coming years? So it's already happening. I mean, I see that from where I'm sitting in Zurich. We have a think lab where we meet all these people from all over the world. We are seeing a lot of projects happening in many industries. And what's going to happen is that companies are going to start to rethink how they do things. Young managers who grew up already with the digital world, who have no fear of data and computing and so on, but lots of ideas how you try things out, willingness to work with many different partners. They are going to try out lots of different things. They're going to start maybe a little bit slower because the projects are relatively complex. They'll start small, they'll grow the projects quickly, they'll change them as they see what's needed. And I think that if we look even five years in advance, let's say 2020, mm -hmm. I think you will see already most of industries have already adapted this. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a very fascinating five years ahead of us. Yeah, and it's not even the um, digital natives that are in it, charge here, right? It is already more, interestingly mm -hmm. enough, it is already more the digital natives. They're not yet the CEOs, yeah. or some of them yeah. are. But they are already in key positions in companies and they are willing to try things. They are not so afraid of failure. They, they fail fast, fail well, we call mm -hmm. it. They, they'll, they'll try it and see if it works. And if it doesn't, they'll try something else and they'll work with other partners. It, it's, it's very fascinating. How do you think this um, industry of things, world, event, um, is evolving? Is it uh, uh, the right format to um, push things? I think it's very important that people from all over should come and network and meet each other. I think the speakers that were chosen and who came represent a very mm. broad spectrum and they have, they have a lot of good messages. So I think you really hit it right. I think you noticed that more people signed mm. up than were expected mm. and so on because there's a need for these kind of meetings and it's, uh, 
it's going to grow. And it's, I have to congratulate you on having done a good job putting it together. Thank you. Um, any highlights uh, that you expect in the um, today and tomorrow? There will. I don't know what all the speakers after me. Maybe there'll be some big announcements. I'm <laughs> not sure. I think more important than the highlights is the mind change mm -hmm. that people will begin to say, I really need to think about this. I need to start getting into it. It takes time to ramp up. If we, if, if we accomplish that, it was, that was a very good move. That makes the future industry 4.0 and things like that. Yeah. That's, that's a very important first step and I congratulate you on putting this together. Thank you very much. Thanks for being us with here and um, enjoy pleasure. the rest of the conference. Thank, Thank you so you. much.